How's it going, everybody? So today is AK Monday, the final AK Monday. I don't know what they're going to be doing moving forward on Mondays, but it is the last release. So that means we do get a free one as long as you play all these solos. You play all the solos, you get a free choice. I believe it's a fantasy pack. I'm not sure if it's like one of three or if it's all of them. I believe it is all of them. It was all of them last time. So if you want any of the cards that weren't LTD, any of the set cards, you can get any of them just from doing the solos. You do the solos to get the tokens, you put the tokens in the set to get the player, and then that's how you end up getting your choice of any of the AKA cards. I haven't done all the solos yet, so I'm not quite sure who I'm going to be picking. So yeah, that being said, there was also the Sugar Rush promo, brand new promo in the game. I think it's a multi-part multi promo considering Easter isn't until next month. I'm going to hop into the store right away. Usually not the first thing I do, but since we're here, might as well. Bunch of new Sugar Rush stuff, 15, 90 plus Sugar Rush players for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, this is a step thing, so you buy this one, you'll buy the next step, you buy the step after that, and then you'll get a final prize or whatever is at the end. You still have to pay money, lots of money, probably close to $100. So I don't know if, I don't believe it's worth it. None of these packs are usually worth it. 10 bucks for this one. A couple AK packs for the final AK, it's a $100 bundle. Again, I'm just gonna skim by them because I don't believe any of them are really worth anything. And then of course, Sugar Rush pack, 290 overalls and 182 overall elite player. For 83k, that is sure and the odds are not fantastic i guess they're not terrible either. they're about on on par with the uh ring of honor ones which weren't good for me is also a re-roll for them only 22k for a 90 overall so that's that's not bad so with sugar rush they did also add a new field pass it's not tied into the season i mean though it does give you xp it's just its own little thing sugar rush level one haven't done anything in the game yet um, so there's a bunch of objectives you can get done, stats, sets, house rules, solo battles, normal stuff. There's a house rules and then a daily tracker. Um, nothing special. It's pretty much just XP and eggs. Um, there's a couple 90 plus players. And then there's this strat item, which gives everybody plus two speed. It does look like it is going to expire. So be careful with this. I did see player, or I did see people on Twitter saying that this is going to, this erases theme teams. But considering this does expire, we don't know if it's going to keep the same boost or not. So just be wary with that. Like I said, a bunch of eggs, XP, some coin, nothing else it looks like. And then at the final thing, it's a 96 overall Sugar Rush Hero Fantasy Pack or Large Egg. This is going to be auctionable. Uh, I'm not sure if the Large Egg is going to be more valuable or not than the Sugar Rush player. All I'm going to say is EA, stop giving us 96s. I don't understand why EA keeps wanting to give us these 96 overalls. We don't want these 96 overalls. Take a look at the AKA new class players. Okay, we got Jack Rabbit, Janoris Jenkins, uh... Deion Jones, Debug, don't, want, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Cordell Patterson, Flash, and uh, the LTD is going to be George Karloftis. I don't remember his nickname. I just remember seeing him on the front. So, not a huge batch of AK cards. I think we were kind of expecting something bigger. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Cordell is cool. But I, th I think we were all expecting something a little nicer for the last batch. So, other than Cordell, I don't think I'm going to pick up any of the, those new ones. I mean, Cordell is definitely an option. I think Shaq Leonard is probably the best to choose for your free AK just because he does get every team cam. So if you do run a theme team, it does make the most sense. Why can't they just make these even? I can't find Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush. There it is. I'm just blind. Don't mind me. Okay, and then as far as the 98s. Oh, there are sets for the eggs, so that's good. They're repeatable. Uh, small egg fragments. So if you log in daily, you get small egg fragments. And it looks like you can put them in to get an egg. Um... I don't know if it's a random egg. It's wow, it's a small egg. So they they're giving us a small egg for logging into the game for the next week. Okay, and then as far as the 98s go, we got Adrian Amos, Stefan Diggs, Christian Kirksey, TJ Watt, Matt Stafford, Marshawn Lynch, Chris Lindstrom, and Ty Law. Not a bad batch of players. I mean, like I said, this is a. It seems like it's gonna be a multi-week or at least a two-part promo. So um, we're gonna get a, a bunch of 98s, another batch of 98s. Gonna have to see who those guys end up turning out to be. Um, but there's some good names here: Stephon Diggs, Amos is fast, Kirksey has a lot of team, T.J. Watt's big name, Matt Stafford, Beast Mode. Who doesn't want a Beast Mode? Chris Lindstrom and Ty Law. Good names. I'm kind of excited to see what they do with the second part of the promo. Not even counting the LTD is going to be Devontae Adams and Marshawn Lattimore. So it's looking like it's a solid promo. There's also a ton of 96s. I won't go over the 96s. And then, of course, a bunch of 93s and 90s. Nothing fantastic there. And then as far as the Sugar Rush solos go, we have two sequences. Uh, and it looks like it's just going to be a bunch of Sugar Rush XP. Yeah, and it's a little big reward, just a bunch of Sugar Rush XP. And it looks like... 
uh, the great, the great egg hunt is back. So basically, you play these solos, you read the clues, and they give you um, positions of some eggs. I'm, I mean, if you want to do that, or you can just look online, and I'm sure somebody's already figured that stuff out. So we're gonna take a look at the AK new class players. I'm assuming they're probably like six, seven hundred k. I mean, they should be down because of the free card. Uh, Karloftis is five four four. And then, man, you cannot find a card. Oh, here we go. Debo 763. Uh, Jackrabbit's 801. Cordell is up here, huh? Cordell is 1.22. Yeah, so take Cordell with your free card if it is a, a fantasy pack of all the options. And then for Sugar Rush, the 98s are 460k for LTD Lattimore, and then about 500 for Kirksey. And then Stafford's like six. So Kersey's the cheapest by far. And then you got a couple cards that are like six. Close to seven. They're about seven, seven ish. I'd say 650 to average them out. And it looks like Devontae's about 700K. So yeah, they're up there, man. They're up there. A lot of people are posting Devontae's for 900K for whatever reason. So yeah, there are definitely a lot of cards available. They're not super expensive. So I mean, if you see a card you want, they're 98 overall. With that new strat item from the field pass, you can get them to 99 speed regardless of what their speed is, right? For the most part, I think all these 98s pretty much like one or two speed away from being 99 speed other than Stafford I guess as far as LTDs go I think Devontae Adams is really solid I just need to see his price come down a little bit uh, Marshawn Lenamore is also pretty solid he's just a little shorter for me not my type of corner but I'm sure he'll play amazing and then we'll go ahead and open we'll open a couple packs it is AK's final week so we're gonna go and open an AK pack to start it off see if we can pull Georgie I don't know what his nickname is I still don't know what his nickname is uh, these packs are usually not good for me, so I'm going to be kind of happy when they're gone. I know there's some people that have pulled some really good stuff out of this, but this is my normal stuff. A 90 Saquon, Barkley, Jerry, Judy. So now we'll go and open a Sugar Rush pack, and then we'll end it off with a couple rerolls, unless I pull something great here, so I can finish it off with something fire. There's a pack animation. 90 Thomas, aka card in the Sugar Rush pack, okay. 82 Reggie White and a 90 Dan Arnold. Okay, so to be expected, pulled bare minimum. We'll go and open two Sugar Rush players. Have enough to open two of them. Looking for Devonta, I suppose. Anything above a 90 is a win. <laughs> or another 90 Dan Arnold, thank you. Okay, final pack for me. Ends up being... <laughs> 90 Jonah Jackson. Ah, these packs were garbage. Anyways, you guys take it easy and peace. Oh boy, this hey. shit bang. Hey. Blacked out, pulling up and everybody act out. Ops out, gas out, run up on me, get whacked out.